Psalm chapter 114. When the Israelites escaped from Egypt, when the family of Jacob left that foreign land, the land of Judah became God's sanctuary and Israel became his kingdom. The Red Sea saw them coming and hurried out of their way. The water of the Jordan River turned away. The mountains skipped like rams, the hills like lambs. What's wrong, Red Sea, that made you hurry out of their way? What happened, Jordan River, that you turned away? Why, mountains, did you skip like rams? Why, hills like lambs? Tremble, O earth, at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the God of Jacob. He turned the rock into a pool of water. Yes, a spring of water flowed from solid rock. Psalm chapter 115. Not to us, O Lord, not to us, but to your name goes all the glory for your unfailing love and faithfulness. Why let the nations say, where is their God? Our God is in the heavens and he does as he wishes. Their idols are merely things of silver and gold shaped by human hands. They have mouths but cannot speak and eyes but cannot see. They have ears but cannot hear, and noses but cannot smell. They have hands but cannot feel, and feet but cannot walk, and throats but cannot make a sound. And those who make idols are just like them, as are all who trust in them. O oh Israel, trust the Lord. He is your helper and your shield. O oh priests, descendants of Aaron, trust the Lord. He is your helper and your shield. All you who fear the Lord, trust the Lord. He is your helper and your shield. The Lord remembers us and will bless us. He will bless the people of Israel and bless the priests, the descendants of Aaron. He will bless those who fear the Lord, both great and lowly. May the Lord richly bless both you and your children. May you be blessed by the Lord who made heaven and earth. The heavens belong to the Lord, but he has given the earth to all humanity. The dead cannot sing praises to the Lord, for they have gone into the silence of the grave. But we can praise the Lord both now and forever. Praise the Lord. Psalm chapter 116. I love the Lord because he hears my voice and my prayer for mercy, because he bends down to listen. I will pray as long as I have breath. Death wrapped its ropes around me. The terrors of the grave overtook me. I saw only trouble and sorrow. Then I called on the name of the Lord. Please, Lord, save me. How kind the Lord is, how good he is. So merciful, this God of ours. The Lord protects those of childlike faith. I was facing death and he saved me. Let my soul be at rest again, for the Lord has been good to me. He has saved me from death, my eyes from tears, my feet from stumbling. And so I walk in the Lord's presence as I live here on earth. I believed in you, so I said, I'm deeply troubled, Lord. In my anxiety, I cried out to you. These people are all liars. What can I offer the Lord for all he has done for me? I will lift up the cup of salvation and praise the Lord's name for saving me. I will keep my promises to the Lord in the presence of all his people. The Lord cares deeply when his loved ones die. O oh Lord, I am your servant. Yes, I am your servant born into your household. You have freed me from my chains. I will offer you a sacrifice of thanksgiving and call on the name of the Lord. I will fulfill my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people, in the house of the Lord, in the heart of Jerusalem. Praise the Lord.
Psalm chapter 117. Praise the Lord, all you nations. Praise him, all you people of the earth. For his unfailing love for us is powerful. The Lord's faithfulness endures forever. Praise the Lord. Psalm chapter 118. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His faithful love endures forever. Let all Israel repeat, his faithful love endures forever. Let Aaron's descendants, the priests, repeat, his faithful love endures forever. Let all who fear the Lord repeat, his faithful love endures forever. In my distress, I prayed to the Lord, and the Lord answered me and set me free. The Lord is for me, so I will have no fear. What can mere people do to me? Yes, the Lord is for me. He will help me. I will look in triumph at those who hate me. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in people. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. Though hostile nations surrounded me, I destroyed them all with the authority of the Lord. Yes, they surrounded and attacked me, but I destroyed them all with the authority of the Lord. They swarmed around me like bees. They blazed against me like a crackling fire, but I destroyed them all with the authority of the Lord. My enemies did their best to kill me, but the Lord rescued me. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has given me victory. Songs of joy and victory are sung in the camp of the godly. The strong right arm of the Lord has done glorious things. The strong right arm of the Lord is raised in triumph. The strong right arm of the Lord has done glorious things. I will not die. Instead, I will live to tell what the Lord has done. The Lord has punished me severely, but he did not let me die. Open for me the gates where the righteous enter, and I will go in and thank the Lord. These gates lead to the presence of the Lord, and the godly enter there. I thank you for answering my prayer and giving me victory. The stone that the builders rejected has now become the cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing, and it is wonderful to see. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Please, Lord, please save us. Please, Lord, please give us success. Bless the one who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God shining upon us. Take the sacrifice and bind it with cords on the altar. You are my God, and I will praise you. You are my God, and I will exalt you. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His faithful love endures forever. Psalm chapter 119. Joyful are people of integrity who follow the instructions of the Lord. Joyful are those who obey his laws and search for him with all their hearts. They do not compromise with evil and they walk only in his paths. You have charged us to keep your commandments carefully. Oh, that my actions would consistently reflect your decrees. Then I will not be ashamed when I compare my life with your commands. As I learn your righteous regulations, I will thank you by living as I should. I will obey your decrees. 
Please, don't give up on me. How can a young person stay pure? By obeying your word. I have tried hard to find you. Don't let me wander from your commands. I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. I praise you, O Lord. Teach me your decrees. I have recited aloud all the regulations you have given us. I have rejoiced in your laws as much as in riches. I will study your commandments and reflect on your ways. I will delight in your decrees and not forget your word. Be good to your servant, that I may live and obey your word. Open my eyes to see the wonderful truths in your instructions. I am only a foreigner in the land. Don't hide your commands from me. I am always overwhelmed with the desire for your regulations. You rebuke the arrogant. Those who wander from your commands are cursed. Don't let them scorn and insult me, for I have obeyed your laws. Even princes sit and speak against me, but I will meditate on your decrees. Your laws please me. They give me wise advice. I lie in the dust. Revive me by your word. I told you my plans and you answered. Now teach me your decrees. Help me understand the meaning of your commandments, and I will meditate on your wonderful deeds. I weep with sorrow. Encourage me by your word. Keep me from lying to myself. Give me the privilege of knowing your instructions. I have chosen to be faithful. I have determined to live by your regulations. I cling to your laws. Lord, don't let me be put to shame. I will pursue your commands, for you expand my understanding. Teach me your decrees, O Lord. I will keep them to the end. Give me understanding, and I will obey your instructions. I will put them into practice with all my heart. Make me walk along the path of your commands, for that is where my happiness is found. Give me an eagerness for your laws rather than a love for money. Turn my eyes from worthless things and give me life through your word. Reassure me of your promise made to those who fear you. Help me abandon my shameful ways, for your regulations are good. I long to obey your commandments. Renew my life with your goodness. Lord, give me your unfailing love, the salvation that you promised me. Then I can answer those who taunt me, for I trust in your word. Do not snatch your word of truth from me, for your regulations are my only hope. I will keep on obeying your instructions forever and ever. I will walk in freedom, for I have devoted myself to your commandments. I will speak to kings about your laws, and I will not be ashamed. How I delight in your commands, how I love them. I honor and love your commands. I meditate on your decrees. Remember your promise to me. It is my only hope. Your promise revives me. It comforts me in all my troubles. The proud hold me in utter contempt, but I do not turn away from your instructions. I meditate on your age-old regulations. Oh Lord, they comfort me. I become furious with the wicked because they reject your instructions. Your decrees have been the theme of my songs wherever I have lived. I reflect at night on who you are, O oh Lord. Therefore, I obey your instructions. This is how I spend my life, obeying your commandments. Lord, you are mine. I promise to obey your words. With all my heart, I want your blessings. Be merciful as you promised. I pondered the direction of my life, and I turned to follow your laws. I will hurry without delay to obey your commands. Evil people try to drag me into sin, but I am firmly anchored 
to your instructions. I rise at midnight to thank you for your just regulations. I am a friend to anyone who fears you, anyone who obeys your commandments. O oh Lord, your unfailing love fills the earth. Teach me your decrees. You have done many good things for me, Lord, just as you promised. I believe in your commands. Now, teach me good judgment and knowledge. I used to wander off until you disciplined me, but now I closely follow your word. You are good and do only good. Teach me your decrees. Arrogant people smear me with lies, but in truth, I obey your commandments with all my heart. Their hearts are dull and stupid, but I delight in your instructions. My suffering was good for me, for it taught me to pay attention to your decrees. Your instructions are more valuable to me than millions in gold and silver. You made me. You created me. Now give me the sense to follow your commands. May all who fear you find in me a cause for joy, for I have put my hope in your word. I know, O oh Lord, that your regulations are fair. You discipline me because I needed it. Now let your unfailing love comfort me, just as you promised me, your servant. Surround me with your tender mercies, so I may live, for your instructions are my delight. Bring disgrace upon the arrogant people who lied about me. Meanwhile, I will concentrate on your commandments. Let me be united all who fear you, with those who know your laws. May I be blameless in keeping your decrees. Then I will never be ashamed. I am worn out waiting for your rescue, but I've put my hope in your word. My eyes are straining to see your promises come true, when will you comfort me? I am shriveled like a wineskin in the smoke, but I have not forgotten to obey your decrees. How long must I wait? When will you punish those who persecute me? These arrogant people who hate your instructions have dug deep pits to trap me. All your commands are trustworthy. Protect me from those who hunt me down without cause. They almost finished me off but I refuse to abandon your commandments. In your unfailing love, spare my life. Then I can continue to obey your laws. Your eternal word, O Lord, stands firm in heaven. Your faithfulness extends to every generation, as enduring as the earth you created. Your regulations remain true to this day, for everything serves your plans. If your instructions hadn't sustained me with joy, I would have died in my misery. I will never forget your commandments, for by them you give me life. I am yours. Rescue me, for I have worked hard at obeying your commandments. Though the wicked hide along the way to kill me, I will quietly keep my mind on your laws. Even perfection has its limits, but your commands have no limit. Oh, how I love your instructions. I think about them all day long. Your commands make me wiser than my enemies, for they are my constant guide. Yes, I have more insight than my teachers, for I am always thinking of your laws. I am even wiser than my elders, for I have kept your commandments. I have refused to walk on any evil path so that I may remain obedient to your word. I have been turned away from your regulations, for you have taught me well. How sweet your words taste to me. They are sweeter than honey. Your commandments give me understanding. No wonder I hate every false way of life. Your word is a lamp to guide my feet and a light for my path. I've promised it once and I'll promise it again. I will obey your righteous regulations. I have suffered much, O oh Lord. 
Restore my life again as you promised. Lord, accept my offering of praise and teach me your regulations. My life constantly hangs in the balance, but I will not stop obeying your instructions. The wicked have set their traps for me, but I will not turn from your commandments. Your laws are my treasure. They are my heart's delight. I am determined to keep your decrees to the very end. I hate those with divided loyalties, but I love your instructions. You are my refuge and my shield. Your word is my source of hope. Get out of my life, you evil-minded people, for I intend to obey the commands of my God. Lord, sustain me as you promised that I may live. Do not let my hope be crushed. Sustain me and I will be rescued then I will meditate continually on your decrees. But you have rejected all who stray from your decrees. They are only fooling themselves. You skim off the wicked of the earth like scum. No wonder I love to obey your laws. I tremble in fear of you. I stand in awe of your regulations. Don't leave me to the mercy of my enemies for I have done what is just and right. Please guarantee a blessing for me. Don't let the arrogant oppress me. My eyes strain to see your rescue, to see the truth of your promise fulfilled. I am your servant. Deal with me in unfailing love and teach me your decrees. Give discernment to me, your servant, then I will understand your laws. Lord, it is time for you to act, for these evil people have violated your instructions. Truly, I love your commands more than gold. Grace and grace alone. I was an orphan lost at the fall. Running away when I hear you call Father, you worked your will And I had